Let's take a look into the film. In this video, we will be looking at Devontae Bond. Now, Bond is six foot one, two 235 pounds, been in the league for about five years, and he's from OU. And on top of that, he runs about a 4540, 452-ish. And he's been bounced from team to team since uh, 2019, I believe. Uh, neither here nor there. Uh, the Cowboys picked him up for his extra body for linebacker work. And as you see right here in coverage, he's decent. He's not the best in the world. Uh, he gets inside. Didn't really redirect there. Need to work on that. However, I look at a willing guy. He, he's one of those guys that plays pretty hard out there as relates to his mindset and temperaments. But it just doesn't translate into everyday game. But I can show you this right here. The mentality to come down and feel. He got that. <laughs> feel into the hole. Squeeze inside and make the tackle there. I do like that out of 59. And this could be the reason why the Cowboys picked him up as well. Because they see something that they can develop. So if anything, uh, Bond is willing to fill the hole right here. And that's mentality. Come inside and squeeze there and make that tackle there. Uh, I saw him get pressure off the edge on this play right here causes the wild ball to be thrown that way look at 59 that's him squeezes off the edge there use the hands to get away and forces this pass it's counted as a hurry for him so he did get a chance to get around to make an impact on this play yeah squeeze got there so quinn probably said man that worked against me I wonder if I can put my hands on you and help you out. But this is why the Cowboys picked them up, in my opinion, to play the special teams. They are lacking in this department as it relates to linebackers. And why not get a guy who is a special teams guy? You know, he's a gunner in most situations and he's not afraid to come down there to make those plays. And this is Bond right here. Devontae is able to create another pressure on the edge here. Causes the wild throw. And I'm telling you guys right now that if this particular coaching staff is able to elevate anything, pass rushing, the ability to get to the quarterback may be the secret sauce to everything. A uh, hidden weapon, dare I say. Because, bam, I love seeing that Cowboy Nation. Hey, for anybody to have doubts, just think of J-Rock, you know. Everybody had him on the burner until he came over here to the Cowboys land or Carlos Watkins for crying out loud. So I'm always giving grace to those guys that this particular team pick up. Open field tackler, he's pretty good at that as well. Uh, come down, make that hit right there. That's important. Very important for Bond to make these type of plays if his number is ever called for the Cowboys to come out to make a play, right? And this play right here, is one of the favorite plays that I was able to see here of him disengaging, finding the runner, fight through trash, keep his pad levels clean, and stay low enough so that he won't get caught up. Watch, disengage, yep, and make this tackle right here. <laughs> that boy went to flying, right? <laughs> Yeah, I love seeing this. This is mentality. This is mindset. He's the outside linebacker, and he come across the field, scrapes, and make that hit right there. Uh, look, that's a highlight reel right here. <laughs> you know, that's like a water boy. <laughs> I love seeing that, by the way. Shout out to you, Bond. 59. Hey, he get real crunk on this one. Goal line stop. Suplex time, baby. Uh. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> nah, but uh, it's really good because I like the mindset. Look at him as the outside guy sitting off the edge here. Come down and make the tackle. Get off the pack and watch he suplex. Yeah. And watch he stands up. Hawk smash. <laughs> He's having a great time out there. And back to the bench with him, right? <laughs> But, you know, I, I look at everything. I look at coaches elevate, and he come off on the edge there to make this play. He hit him. That's what counts. He stopped the run. He stopped him from getting multiple yards here. Come off the edge, scrape, get there, make him stumble out of bounds, and only a two-yard gain, you know. So I like seeing that, uh, the ability to come off of that edge and make that play. That is very important, Cowboy Nation, to bring in somebody off the bench to go out there and make a play outside linebacker and this play is so underrated too you know 
He could have gotten gobbled up by big old boy heading his way. What big old boy heading his way? Stiffy, he stiff on him, and he knows where that runner at. Get off of that and then make that play. Not bad at all, Cowboy Nation. All right, so we all know against Lamar Jackson, it, this is just <laughs> whatever you can do is a plus. And by him getting off of his guy, I like the physicality off the release or what have you versus uh, the tight end there. He gets there, redirect, pushes the tight end to the left side of the field. All right, he sees that uh, Lamar is getting upfield, and he goes there and make this play right here. I like it. Put Lamar on the ground right there. This was another play. Scraping to the edge there. Get there. Forcing him out of bounds. It's just <laughs> it's hard to stop Lamar Jackson, by the way. And uh, just by playing through the echoes of the whistle, shooting there to that edge right there goes a long way. And that was a, a third down play, so it was crunk about that one. All right, so this play right here, scrape across, make the tackle again. It's 59. Remember, I'm all about mindset and mentality. For me, if you can play through the echoes of the whistle, that's a plus for me. Scrape across there, make that tackle. Yeah, yeah. That's, look, you coming from across the formation there, make the tackle. Get up there. Yeah, that's what I like to see, Cowboy Nation. Everything else can be coached out. All right, so this is a tackle for loss against Christian McCaffrey. Get down, Phil, baby. <laughs> he squeezed inside. It's potential in there, right? Get off of his guy. Get there. Make the tackle. Yeah, that's a negative two. Tackle for loss. That's his first tackle for loss right here of his career and his short career because he had minimum snaps there. And, hey, he crock about it, Cowboy Nation. I'm not finna sit here and dog the man or trash the man because of the fact Cowboys been finding ways to elevate certain players. And all of a sudden you look up and you say, hey, who is that guy? You know, so the Cowboys picked him up for a reason, depth purposes, or it could be other things that they see that we don't get a chance to see. And it could be a situation that the Cowboys may say to themselves, we can develop his talent, the mentality. You add it in with what this coaching staff been doing. And I, what I like more than anything, the players on the Cowboys team already, already giving each other praises and helping each other out. I recall Demarcus Lawrence when he couldn't play, right? He was telling players like Goldstons and all of those other boys, this is what you need to do in order to get separation. This is what you got to do to get to disengage. Hey, this is where your stance at. You need to get a little bit lower here. I do love the aspect of the players themselves helping out each other as it relates to training on the field and everything. I'm quite sure that the message from Quinn will be echoed down to this guy and I can't wait to see what they're going to do with him. He could be just a practice squad altogether, right? Who knows? But Cowboy Nation, that's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys. Cowboys.